No internet access? Let's fix that using Squid Proxy. In this video, we give our internal Windows client full web access through an Ubuntu-based proxy server. Welcome to part two of our Proxy Lab series. In part one, we set up our VMware lab with NAT and internal networks and installed the Ubuntu server and Windows client. Now, we'll install and configure Squid on Ubuntu, connect the Windows client, and enable web access. We start by updating the package list. Then installing Squid. This gives us the core proxy engine. Now navigate to the Squid configuration file. Open the file using any text editor. I will use the Nano tool to open the configuration file. Next, insert the following three lines. In this section of the squid.conf file, we're telling Squid to listen on port 3128 that's the default port for proxy connections. Next, we define an access control list, or ACL called LocalNet, and assign it the IP range of our internal network. Finally, we allow HTTP access for any client in that local net group, basically enabling devices in our home lab to use the proxy. These three lines are enough to give proxy access to internal devices while keeping everything else blocked by default. After that, you can save and exit the text editor. After saving the config, restart the squid service to apply changes. Now, head over to the Windows client. Open a web browser and try to access the internet. You'll see that you can't access the internet because we haven't configured the proxy settings on the client yet. To set the proxy settings on the Windows client, go to Internet Options, Connections, LAN Settings, and set the proxy server address to 192 dot one six eight dot twenty dot one with port three one two eight you can also use powershell to set the proxy for windows updates or curl commands now you have a fully working squid proxy you can route filter and log internal traffic great for labs or even real environments you can check the access log on the Squid Proxy to verify the traffic flow. In Part 3, we'll take it a step further and block websites like Facebook and YouTube using ACLs and Squid. Subscribe to stay updated, and drop a comment if you'd like to see topics like Squid authentication or logging to a dashboard in future videos.